Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd, and Kanye West running for president. I don't take it seriously. And here is why. As far as I know, he has no campaign team, no campaign offices. It has also been reported he hasn't even filed paperwork with the FEC to run yet. And as far as I can see, he's pretty inconsistent on what one would call the issues. For sure, in the past, Kanye has had very strong opinions on uh, issues of racism. He has appeared at the recent Black Lives Matter protests and has donated to George Floyd's family. He has spoken pretty in depth on issues of black struggle in his music. But when we move beyond that, he has also said that slavery is a choice. There was that whole point in time where he was just non-stop sucking up to Donald Trump, one of the people he would be running against, which if he were to seriously run, like how could Trump not use that against him? Kanye has also said some kind of iffy stuff on abortion rights repeatedly and repeatedly in the public eye. He has shown bad judgment and in his own music, he tells you there is no calm, yay. And honestly, when you're doing things like I don't know, negotiating a peace deal between Israel and Palestine. I feel like you, you would want to call him yay. Anyone who is seriously considering voting for Kanye West should ask themselves this question, and that is, do, do you trust him to act in the best interest of the country? Bitch, no. No, I don't. He barely acts in his own best interest, at least part of the time. Now, look, Kanye can run and say that he's running without any of these things, despite all of these things, he can. But if he does, if he were to, his campaign would be doomed to fail. Not only that, but thinking about Kanye's run strategically, who would vote for Kanye? What states would he win? What is Kanye's constituency? Of course, after all the Donald Trump stuff and the Candace Owens stuff, there are elements of the left and the black vote that are going to be looking at him with kind of a side eye. Then there is the right wing and the Trump cult, which is pretty just in bed with Trump. There's really no reason for people who love Trump to jump over to Kanye logically and ideologically. The only people on the right who are really splitting away from Trump are the neocons and never Trumpers who, honestly, they're going to vote for a Biden before they do a Kanye. For sure, there are younger hip hop fans and there are centristy and right leaning conserva bros that would most likely vote for Kanye on a ballot or fill in his name or something. But that does not fill up an electoral map. There's also kind of a money issue going on here as well, because again, Kanye does not have a super PAC, a donor base, anything like that. For sure, him and Kim do have money, but not enough money collectively to buy an entire election, at least not without entering office, without having seriously diminished their wealth and the wealth of the Kardashian clan. Kanye and Kim are going to be needing to borrow from, uh, from Kendall a little bit to a uh, buy into some like insane uh, advertisement runs on all the major media networks. Just for perspective here, Bloomberg, Michael Bloomberg, who you may have saw uh, running in the Democratic primary earlier in the year, uh, spent millions and millions of dollars, well over half of a billion dollars, only to basically win nothing in the primary states and uh, just get beaten to death rhetorically on the debate stage. And then there is the debate stage, which can you imagine Kanye on the debate stage? The man can barely hold his own in just a simple interview. How will he do on the debate stage not well, most likely. It will be a shit show. The debates are going to be a shit show, even just with Trump and Biden. But if Kanye were in the mix, would he be the voice of reason? Would he be the guy making the salient points? Most likely, no. So if Kanye does run again and continues to assert that he is running, all I think he's going to end up doing is just splitting the vote. And for who, I don't know, but I think that this upcoming election is too important to risk it or even, I, I think, uh, humor the idea. Like, yeah, it's kind of funny and it's silly and it's a meme and there's no possible way that he can win, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know.
It's just uh, seems like a meme, which I mean, I love memes and I love politics, but I, I don't know if I'd, I want to vote for a meme. And yeah, the whole X factor and unpredictability element of Kanye being president, running for president, you know, we, we kind of went with that in 2016 and it, it hasn't panned out for the best. What would Kanye do in a global pandemic? Th there's really no answer to this question. So no, I'm not taking Kanye West's run for president seriously, no matter how seriously he takes it. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, make sure to leave yours down in the comments. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Kanye West, uh, running for president for never.